I can show for y'all. Got a damn good show. This cop was not going to let this woman go. He ain't playing. He, 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 I got immunity, and I'm going to do my job. Watch this video. residential area uh -huh. and both of them are not going to slow down. Should have gave an opportunity to stop. I'm on so believe. I don't think you should do a pit maneuver when she's there over 100 miles an hour. That's kind of crazy, don't you think? Uh, how you know they're going 100 miles an hour? Well, according what to you, an AI system or something? <laughs> well, I know I they think wouldn't. they're doing 100, maybe maybe 25, maybe 30. <laughs> you crazy. Maybe 45. The engine going. <laughs> well, how fast? You think they're going 100? According to where I found the video, there was uh, he did the pit maneuver at. At 120 miles an hour. I don't think it was that 120? Much. It's probably like around 70 or 80. Yeah, I'm a, I don't I just wanna know the pit maneuver when it was getting off the uh getting onto the uh what you call that? Off ramp, yeah. The exit? Yeah, because right, you gotta slow down, I'd have did that pit. I'd have came in. <laughs> right there in the quarter panel. <laughs> made a spin out. Yeah, you know? but uh if you I don't gonna, I don't believe in doing hey, let me finish talking. I don't believe in doing <laughs> pit maneuvers. On the freeway doing 100. That's a bit much. It's a bit extreme. Yeah, if you're going to run from the police at those speeds, don't you think you should put your seatbelt on? <laughs> hey, that's a good point. That's a good point. I was starting to believe it was the You crazy. Here. You running from the police over 100 miles an hour, ain't got your seatbelt on. Did she make it? It don't look like it. It's a damn shame. I'd have put my seatbelt on. Well, I would have never ran the cops. It, yeah, while well, well, run. When the cop was coming from the car, did you say I write you a ticket? Yeah. That's how it started, right? Yeah. Hey, let's go to the beginning again. I think it's just going to get a ticket and go home. Maybe hey, she ain't got the money to pay the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, she stopped. I'll be right back. Like, yeah, go write a ticket. 
Probably had a warrant. So I'll be right back. He said, nah, if you be right back, I'm going to jail. I'm going to take off. <laughs> Oh, I heard this for you. Gonna just write me a ticket, huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, you gonna go? You gonna write me a ticket? But you checking me for warrants, and that warrants gonna come back. And I got plans tonight. <laughs> well, I'm she not, ain't got no plans tonight. Yeah, you gonna you sleeping tonight forever? <laughs> yeah, man. If you gonna run from the cops, man, you gotta at least put your seatbelt on. Cause these cops they be doing that damn pit maneuver. I don't know about. I don't think the cops should have did pit. Well, well. She saved. Well, she could potentially kill somebody. Yeah. The way, the way she's driving. But he killed her. Yeah. He unalived her, though. All lives matter, you know. <laughs> hey, man, what you Even the one that's putting everybody else's life at risk? We all make mistakes. I don't see why the cop. Well, I'm going to be liberal Keith for a second. I'm going to be woke Keith. <laughs> be woke. She's driving at high speed. You mm. already know she who she is. You got a license plate. You already got a license. Won't you just let her go? Then you just come back three o'clock in the morning when she sleep. You just take it out on her ass right then and now. That that <laughs> is a valid argument. You already know who she is. Yeah. You know what she looks like. Yeah. Got a registration. You know exactly who this person mm -hmm. is. Yeah. Yep. They're putting their life at risk. Other people's life at risk. Won't you just let them go? Like the pit maneuver, when he did, he could not only killed her, he could uh, unalive other people on the freeway. Well, it was a female police officer. You know how I feel about female cops. How you know it was a female? She got on the passenger side. What? The you didn't notice that was a female cop? I noticed that was a female cop, but you, you, you have no attention to details. She didn't come over to the driver's side of the car. She came over to the passenger side of the car. I know. That was a man driving the car. You think a woman could drive that good? What? Oh, she got in the passenger seat, huh? Yeah, man, you got no attention to detail. <laughs> well, all I know is a woman cop is in a car. She probably wouldn't have told him to do it. <laughs> you know how women are bossy. <laughs> oh my God. I, ain't no man going to do that. I can see a female cop doing that. No, it's a man cop coming. Uh, who's in the car with him? Look at his partner. It's a female. He told him to do that. She told him to do that. Come on now. Have, hey, like, what are we talking come about? Come on now. What are you we know talking it's the about? woman's fault? You think an objective man's going to do that? Yeah, I've seen it done plenty of times. <laughs> oh, man. I've seen a man. Uh, He's probably doing that trying to impress that woman. Either way you look at it, it's the woman's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. He probably try, trying to. He probably trying to impress that woman. <laughs> he trying to get. Uh, he, try, he probably trying to get some little action. <laughs> what? See how I did that pit maneuver? <laughs> Threw her right out of the car. <laughs> everybody saved everybody's life. And I got a criminal off the street. Yeah. Now it's time for you to... <laughs> time to uh, service me. <laughs> yeah, you could get... Should he probably just let him, let him go. Well, it's too late now. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, she, she out there laying on the ground. <laughs> you go, you go to 120 miles an hour. You ain't got your seatbelt on. You just thrown out the car. Man, I bet that must have been violent when he was coming out of the car like that. <laughs> you know, that's got to be crazy. Man, I remember. Uh, Imagine how crazy that must have been for you to get thrown out your car. <laughs> The you know, force. You like you, <laughs> and you get thrown out of the car. <laughs> like Bo and Luke Duke, the Dukes of Hazard. Yeah. That's why I wear my seatbelt, and I don't run from the cops. <laughs> Make sure I don't get thrown from the car. <laughs> Show's over. We just gave away the cheap Rubicon. The good old imp. Good dude, man. Good dude. You're making families great again. <laughs> yeah, hey, this is your last chance. Yeah. To enter. Time is running out. The Dodge Power Wagon and the camp and the 10,000 in cash. And if you enter right now, you get 10 times the interest. But I want to show y'all the new giveaway. Yeah. Oh, man. We're really going to be your two favorite black guys after you see this. Maybe walk too slow. Shut up.
Yeah, yeah good old Jim Lee. Lee. Dixieland, would I give away? Give Nin it away. Nineteen. A little. Southern pride. He give it away a general lead. 1969. Dodge Charger. 426 Hemi. A lot of Hemi. Signed by Richard Petty. It's got Bo and Luke Dukes autograph in there. If you're in it right now, you get 10 times the inches to win this. Yeah. And the power wagon. Both come with $10,000 in cash. And the camera. Well, I forgot about the camp. It's a nice touch, right? Yeah. Now I gotta ask you, who's your favorite two black guys? Yes. Go to VitureHardTwins.com. Anything you buy on the site, get you automatically. Get it win. Yeah.